Hello and welcome to Today's Authors. Remember, this is the Today's Authors show that talks about author in terms of originality and creators of anything. Now that just gives us a license to talk to whoever we want to, so don't, don't get distracted too much. Today we have um, a young adult fiction writer, Julie Chabar, with us, and we're going to be talking with her about her uh, uh, novel, her published novel called Redemption, uh, and the novel that will be coming out, and I think it's going to be called Deadly, and then colon something else, but we're not sure what it is. Julie, great to see you. Nice to see Th you, Gary. Thanks for coming. <laughs> can't, wait, can't wait to talk about this stuff. Um, but first, let's, I, want, I want the audience to get to know who you are as a person and how you became a writer. And Well, actually, I started out as an actress, believe it or not. I went to the Fame School, the High School of Performing Arts. And after high school, I tried to get acting jobs, and I realized that I wanted to be the one to create the characters. I went on a whole adventure, a life adventure. I went to Mexico. I tried to find myself. And by the time I was 27, I realized I want to be the one to write the, these stories. So I started writing. OK, maybe I was closer to 30 when I, when I committed to becoming a writer instead of an actor. But, uh, and, and then I, um, I started writing full time and working full time. So I had two jobs. And I decided that was too much. I was living in New York City. So I heard about this place called Prague, which is in Eastern Europe. And it was right after the fall of communism. So it was very cheap to live there. So I gave up my New York life. I was working as an editor. And I moved to Prague. And I started writing really full time without any other jobs, pretty much. And I wrote for the newspaper, and I wrote a lot of fiction, short stories, um, two of which are coming out in an anthology this month. Um, That's great. And I wrote, I wrote a novel, and none of that was, was really published big time, at, because it was so far away. It was, it was Eastern Europe, and there weren't really agents, and there weren't really like American publishers. So you knew about all that, though, right? I knew about it, and I, I kept sending my work to the States, and I think they kind of felt like I was too far away, or maybe I just wasn't ready. And then I, um, I came back because I wanted to really have a career, and I moved to Montreal with my husband, and I started writing this book, Redemption, which was my first published book. And through Redemption, I got my agent and my deal with uh, Simon & Schuster. Let's talk about Redemption. Um, there's uh, a great deal of history in there, and there's also a great deal of fictionalization. How, how do you do that? I mean, what's your interest in history? Well, Redemption is an interesting story because when I was living in the Czech Republic, I noticed that people really knew their history. They knew what it meant to be Czech. They knew it from a thousand years before. And I realized when I came back to America that I didn't know what it meant to be American. Like, I knew some dates. I knew, you know, 1776 or 1492, but I, I didn't really understand our whole process of be, being American. So I, I went to, back to the beginning of our history. Um, and I said, well, well, who was here? I mean, I know the Indians. What does that mean? And I came across a really interesting story um, about right after Columbus discovered America and the word uh, went out across Europe that there was this new land, these barons and these rich men and maybe women uh, started sending ships to the New World. Like Verrazano was here in 1524, you know, uh, Hudson, well, he was here later, but they just started sending ships to try and see, well, what is this place? How can we colonize it? And I read about this one story where um, the, this, these group of nobles got together, sent out this ship, they landed, they said, we'll be back in a year with supplies, went uh, back to Europe and didn't come back for a few years because of a war with France. And, and when they returned, all they found were bones. So um, then about 100 years later, when they, the colonies started happening, the, the colonists saw these blue-eyed, white-skinned Indians coming out of the mountains. And they said, well, where do these people come from? And they called them white Indians. 
So I said, whoa, that's an interesting story. It must be, you know, those those original settlers, you know, joining with the the, the Indians because they had to. They had to survive, you know. So I, I I tried to make it a human story. I said, well, well, who who were these people? Where did they come from? And the only way I can really write historical fiction is to come up with a character that I understand, you know, which is usually a girl. Um, I, I, for some reason, I always go back to teen girls. Maybe that's because I was one and I have unresolved issues or something. But so my character is named Lily. Her father's kidnapped um, by a baron and taken to the New World, and and uh, he he uh, he's lost. And a year later, she's offered a ride to the New World, basically, and she goes after him and hunts him down, and she finds he's become a white Indian. So. Now you had that figured out before you wrote, before you wrote the story with the with the girl in it, the narrator, or you didn't. I did, as I as I write, I don't really know the story, but I know where I'm going. It's yeah. like um, uh, I forgot the author, but she she wrote a book on writing. It's not Annie Lamott. It's a, it's another famous author, and she said, "Think of writing as as not the axe hitting the wood, but." But your aim, where you're aiming, you're, you're aiming for the wood. So not the journey, um, but but where you're headed. So I knew the end, um, but I you, didn't. You knew you were going to split it. I didn't know the whole, <laughs> the whole journey. Interesting. Well, I, I was really interested in how you came up with the character, and I, now I, I've really learned a lot more about that. And and of course, what part of you is that character? I mean, because you've got to channel something. Well, um, I think the part of loss was me. Yeah. I mean, I lost my mother when I was young, and um, and I, and she loses her mother in the in the new world, and 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 the separation of 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 parents, and you know the the desire for a journey. Um, so there's a lot of my humanness in her, but you know when you're making up a story, you can't you can't always use yourself. Yeah, you know? and what is that? That's that's very interesting. You can't always use yourself. So how do you figure out who you're using, or don't you? I mean, does a character you really make up a no, character and really, that becomes a real person? Absolutely, sort of? yeah. absolutely. You really start to hear and know uh, intuitively what what choices this person would make and and you know when you're when you're writing falsely and you're making stuff up just to get a book done or whether this is really what she would do and really how she would she would uh, go this way or that way you know because you're always coming into forks and it's like a life you know you're, you're living a someone else's life well I'm constantly doing research I, I do enough research so that I can start writing but I don't do so much so that I want to stuff the book with a whole bunch of uh, facts because that's boring. You only need them when you need them. And and I believe in historical accuracy and and in in teaching through my fiction. So I mean I often find history books kind of dull, and that's right. why I, I like reading fiction to find out something about history. So that's why I like to do that. And you are you thinking about your audience as well? I mean, that there's a fourteen year old. Um, high school sophomore or whatever reading this and learning history in a way that is more indelible I mean that that whole thing you were mentioning about the Czechs knowing their knowing who they are for a thousand years and Americans you know it didn't happen like last week it, it, it's sort of you know lost I, I mean that's another sort of underlying goal of yours right is to get yeah. people to like Here's what it means to be an American. This is about you know Absolutely. white Indians, and it's about piles of bones, and it's about being yes. lost. Right. Yeah. And 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 also about assimilation because right. and immigration. I mean that's that's my next book is also dealing with that you know Im immigration and who who these people were who came here. You now know, how, always with a with a, an eye to why is it relevant to us now? You know, what what is important to us today? Why should we be reading this story now? 